Hello guys, my name is Isidoro Paso and my speech is titled, How to Manage Our Thoughts and Predict Better Outcomes in Our Future. So how many of us here have heard about the Law of Attraction? Okay, that's a few people. So according to the Law of Attraction, we're in control of our thoughts, and if we're in control of our thoughts, we're in control of our actions, and if we're in control of our actions, we're pretty much in control of our destiny. There's actually a study done by the University of Harvard. They wanted to figure out how people created thoughts. So what they concluded was that humans can read or hear a string of concepts and immediately put those concepts together to form some new idea. What this means is that we hear concepts, uh, emotions, feelings, and we apply that to our current situation. Not only that, concepts from the past and emotions from the past can resurface and be applied to what's going on right now. So if we're, we as humans are capable of so much with our mind, why do so many of us struggle to be happy and find peace? I personally struggle with feelings of anxiety and depression, and the solutions that were given to me made me feel helpless. It was going to a psychiatrist and just getting prescriptions and then just coming back each month. My idea is that there's two factors that influence how we treat mental illness in our country. Firstly, I want to talk about the two main problems, which are society and culture, and how these two can pose a threat to mental health. Then I will discuss two causes and solutions in order to better understand these issues. It's very important that we have awareness of what's really happening. Because we are distracted on our daily lives so much and our culture pushes us to find easy solutions rather than facing our problems, we're left with solutions that are not really the best way to deal with these mental issues. So right here is an example of how culture and media can sort of trick you. There, here you have an ad for oxazepam, which is a benzodiazepam. And in this ad it says you can't set her free, but you can help her feel less anxious. What I see is that you can't help her turmoil, her whatever's going on in her mind, but you can fix the physical symptoms of anxiety so she can finish her chores. The other example here is for an antidepressant. And this also goes in with our culture and our individualization as individuals. We rather pay someone to fix our problems. We just don't want to stick to it with the people that have caused these issues. So in this ad, you can see she's blue, she's depressed, she's by herself. But as soon as she takes a pill, she's going to feel better. She even looks different. She's probably even wearing makeup in that picture. And she's happy. <clears throat> Another problem, too, is um, companies make a lot of money out of depressed individuals. Actually, the pharmaceutical industry has donated over $2.5 billion into Congress. And studies prove that antidepressants are not really that effective. Compared to placebos, antidepressants reduce the symptoms by 40% and placebos reduce it by 30%. What does that mean? Is that really there's no statistical significance between the two. So you can't really say that antidepressants do work. So why are we relying on them so much to treat depression? The other problem too, as I mentioned, individualization. We do not want to fix these troubles that most of the time are caused by other people. We want to pay somebody else to take away the pain with medication. There are many ways that you can take charge of your emotions. Here are some ways I found to be helpful. The first one is an obvious one. We've all heard about it, physical activity, right? So physical activity actually improves your self-esteem. When you exercise, your brain releases endorphins that reduce your perception of pain, whether it's psychological pain or physical pain. My experience with exercise, it's an outlet to match what's going on in my mind, and I can let that energy out with my body. Another example of how we can take charge of our emotions is with therapy, cognitive therapy especially. So cognitive therapy focuses on patterns of thoughts and changing that, therefore you can change your patterns of behavior. A cognitive therapist, for example, if a person's afraid to go to the grocery store, a cognitive therapist will go with that person, get in the car with them, drive to the store, and do just baby steps to prove to this person that they're capable of doing whatever their mind tells them they're not. This is a video. Rick. The only connection between your unquestionable intelligence and the sickness destroying your family is that everyone in your family, you included, use intelligence to justify sickness. You seem to alternate between viewing your own mind as an unstoppable force and as an inescapable curse. 
So pretty much what the, in this episode, what this uh, psychologist is telling uh, Rick is that he's in charge of pretty much everything. He's doing it to himself. So what I would like to do is I would like to invite I would like to invite all of you to try to do some positive thinking and see how that can affect your life. Right here I have a the spectrum of emotions. And what I like to do is focus on the positive emotions. You know, if you have gratitude up there, that's really easy to do. So if we take charge of this and we know which emotions fit where, we can focus on just the positive ones, which will bring us to be happy and to feel fulfilled with our lives. So today we learned that there are two factors that influence our perception of mental illnesses and how we cure this mental illnesses. My priority is to bring awareness to the power of our thoughts, especially with positive thinking. I hope to inspire some of you to really take charge of your life and to really utilize this for your future. And the most important thing is just to monitor your emotions. And hopefully next semester when you guys are struggling to find parking or something, you can literally envision an empty parking spot and I promise you that it will help you and you'll be surprised. That's my presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.